So I hope fund and support a, a future family perhaps as well, a future relationship at the very least, at the bare minimum. Um, you don't want just the bare minimum though, like you want it all and um, you're gonna do what it takes. Um, you're gonna try your very best at least to do what it takes to get to what you want and this, this aligns with your goals. I feel like this is part of your goals here as well, you know. These are probably the biggest ones yet uh, for you. Like the, maybe you have some other goals that are smaller, but these are um, the biggest um, motivating factors of your life, I guess. Star in reverse and then Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, I gotta say, you've been through a lot, haven't you? Um, feel like this has prepared you for going through a lot more in the future, okay? If you want a lot, you gotta go through a lot, you gotta do a lot, and um, are you willing now to put the time, commit to yourself, make the sacrifice you need to get what you desire? That's on you, right? That's on you to decide. So since we're looking for the next year or two as well, um, I'm seeing a lot of short stuff coming to fruition, you know, because even a year is short term nowadays, you know, fast it goes and everything like that, so, um, but it's going to take maybe the two years, right, it's going to take maybe two, um, or longer to really achieve, um, what you're hoping for, and I think a career change would have to come into the picture pretty soon to align with meeting your goals and needs and life. Because sometimes you have to change something drastically in your life to meet that future partner, right? And so if nothing changes, nothing changes, you know? You gotta change something. Mix the pot a little bit here. Stir it up, you know, maybe I would say date someone you're not used to as well. From a different, maybe ethnicity, background, um, culture, that sort of thing. Um, expand and broaden the horizon is what I'm getting at. And sometimes you gotta date someone who already. <laughs> I'm just being real here. Who already has children, right? <laughs> A lot of people would say no to that, but this is what's coming through the spirit here. Strongly, actually. Doing what's uncomfortable, but you know what? It's right, you know? Because you're not dating them because they have kids or they don't have. You're dating them for them, for who they are. You should never care what their situation is financially unless they're taking from you children or no children unless they're asking you oh can you watch my kids for me all the time once in a while it's cute to play babysitter but not every freaking week because that's your children at the end of the day right not yours <laughs> that's their children i mean not yours seven of pentacles cherry on you want more you want to do more you're done with this life you're over it over the singleness you're like, nope, I'm, I'm done with single life. I want to move on and propel forward and do things that I want to do that are meaningful and right for me. And I think universe is supporting you, but they're saying, hold on, girl. Right? Okay. They're saying, hold on now. <laughs> okay. Um, take it a day at a time because we can't rush love. We can't rush when the boss is going to pay us more. Especially if you're self-employed, okay? Um, I don't know why I said that. I meant the other way around, but you know what I'm saying. We just can't rush life. We can't rush love. We can't rush the plants to grow outside, the grass to grow outside, the trees to grow outside. We cannot rush anything, okay? So, um, what is the hurry, right? What is causing you to get this done in a year or two? I think the more biggest cause is because it motivates you to get things done. Understandably so. But are you going to be okay if this doesn't happen in a year or two? Do you know what I'm saying? Are you going to be fine with yourself? Can you still be at peace with you? 
can you still be fine with this life that you now consider uninteresting and want to move on? Because why else do we have goals? We don't want work to be where we currently are now. We are afraid to get stuck. A lot of times people write goals out of fear. I'm just being honest here. We should focus on them only when we truly are happy and fulfilled with our lives. And you could say, well, if you're happy and fulfilled with your life, why would you make goals if you're already there? Well, there you go then. Why would you, right? Then there is no rush. Then you could take lifetimes to reach those goals. Makes sense. I hope it does. Eight of Swords. Justice. Yeah, it was this way. So I'm seeing, um, first of all, this Taurus could be a good offer for you. This Taurus <sighs> partner, the Libra, not so much. The Libra, not so much. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry, but Libras, like they're one of those that are very hard to love anyway. They're a category of their own. Uh, no, they're not hard to love. It's just they're hard to keep. They're hard to keep around. Yeah. But anyway, um, especially for stability, it's like they're not really that stable. I'm sorry, but it's true. But anyway, for the most part, I don't want to like judge every Libra. You know, that's not true. Um, for everyone, but yeah, a lot of... I almost want to say everyone. But anyways, um, so look at what you're looking for. Okay, know what you want. Taurus, I would say way more. Well, mm. <laughs> here's, the thing. here's the thing about Taurus, right? Like, um, they're stable, but they're not stable. Like, yeah. Anyway. But a Taurus might work better for you. Now, if you're the Libra or you're the Taurus, the opposite. Apply opposite. Okay. Um, I gotta say, so what does opposite mean? Like, if you're a Libra, obviously I'm talking about Taurus. Would be better for you. If you're a Taurus, I'm talking Libra, would be probably better for you. Or a Taurus. Obviously, if you're a Libra, a Libra would work for you, right? But I don't know if Taurus and Libra are quite compatible. I'd have to look at that. But anyway, um, this is just confirmation that you're afraid of getting stuck. Okay. Are there significant, change, significant changes coming? Yes, there always are changes coming. But you have to ride the waves of the changes. You have to be okay with the changes and accept that things are not always going to go our way. That's just the reality of things, ultimately. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. I do see a pair. The twos are a good sign of a pair, a partnership, a match. But at what cost? Meaning, what are you taking time away from in order to make this relationship work? You have to almost totally let go of something to make something new. You have to close the old door before you open the new one. So what is this about? What are you releasing from your life that's taking, occupying too much of your time day to day? Oh, and I just had a notification that I had a lot of website visitors yesterday, like an unusual spike, so thank you. I think that was because I posted the Reiki session, someone's Reiki, and they really liked it, so thank you guys. It could be my newsletter as well, because I posted that at the same day, but thank you guys. Okay, so, um, well, anyway. That's what I'm seeing, okay? That's what I'm seeing for you. There is a relationship coming. I think that's more gonna come first than the career thing, if I'm honest. 
lost, okay? Are you gonna feel lost? Yeah, you might still feel a little lost. I'm gonna be real with you into next year, because next year is only a few days away, right? So, um, let's tap in and look more about this career change. Okay, yeah, I think I took enough time for that. Let's look more into your career change aspect. Maybe something else about love life. Your goals, anything else significant in the future. So, the 30 minute readings usually consist of two 15 minute Celtic cross bread readings typically. So, yeah, a 15 minute tarot reading would be one Celtic cross bread reading. An hour tarot reading would be up to three to four Celtic cross bread readings. And, um, so the hour is the best rate, the cheapest deal, you know, per minute. So, it's the best deal. So, I do see a lover for you, okay? Agna and others. <laughs> this is confirming it. I'll get to that. Um, this is also confirming the kind of lost feelings, but you know what? We have hanged one, and then we have the page of cups intersecting it, and I have to say, I don't know why her nose drew me in, because it looked a little dirty, like she had some mud or something on her nose that she needs to wipe off with a makeup brush or something or maybe she didn't blend her makeup but anyway this is almost like like a little thing like right under your nose like it it's right there where your nose is like sometimes the blessing is actually in front of you and you're not seeing it you're not also seeing the beauty around you the nature the water the ocean the sea the earth the life the plants the trees you know, sometimes we need to, like, open our eyes more and really, like, literally, you know, when someone tells you to go, what, to go smell the flowers, like, literally, that's what you need to do. In the literal sense, go to the park, and, like, so you can let life live and breathe in you because you are life. You are the essence of it. We just forgot. We're always in four walls working like a slave. Feeding a system that doesn't even serve us. Makes sense. Nature serves us. We live and breathe nature. It is our core divinity. Is it not? So, be one with it. And I think you're never going to feel alone ever again. You're going to find all the answers you're looking for. Okay? I'm not afraid to spill some truth. I'm not afraid to spill truth. I don't care who it triggers. I don't care. It has to trigger you. Good. Because... That's how we grow. I'm not here to butter no one's biscuit, honey. It has to trigger us. Yes, we work, me, myself included, for a system that does not serve like nature would. Tell me how it has served us. Tell me how in the hell has it served us. I'm going to wait here a thousand years until I'm a skeleton. It hasn't. King of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So why are we worried about our occupation when these won't even matter soon anyway? These Pentacles. Why are we so worried then? I keep seeing it time and time again. Money won't matter soon. And it's in line with a year or two. The economy is not doing better now. Are you freaking kidding me? I saw a stupid survey that popped up on my screen when I was logging into something I won't say, but like, true or false, the economy is doing better. No, the hell it's not. I, I, I purposely clicked false because I knew the answer was true, but I purposely clicked false. I'm like, nope, it's not doing better than we expected. It's doing worse. It's just a facade. It's a fake facade that it's doing better, but it's actually doing worse. So why are we worried? Makes sense. Why are we fearing when there's always opportunity in other areas of life? The only thing you should do, and 
that's the true way to make money, honey. <laughs> Is you fulfill a need in someone. That will exchange to the currency you're looking for. Whatever form it comes through does not have to be a tangible bill, which is also fake, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. We work for something that's not even real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? Good. I want it to hurt because I want change. Don't we all want change in this world? Why are we wasting so much time doing something that's meaningless? For our overall evolutionary existence. <laughs> With the facade of progress. Meaning feeding other people's pocket. Oh yeah, you're gonna progress as long as you feed me. That's what the beast says. <laughs> anyway. King of Cups. This goes deeper than, like, this has a different meaning for whoever's watching. So, I'll let it. You know, for those who don't get it. <laughs> Nothing to say. The world and then the Four of Cups. So, um, let me not jump ahead of myself because there is a lover here that's coming for you. I'm telling you, they are gonna approach you with such love, but you're not ready to receive this love. You are not ready because you are so, again, worried and focused on your life, your career and stuff that this person will come out of nowhere and they're going to say, hi, how you doing? And before you know it, you go on a date and before you know it, you like each other and before you know it, it leads into other things. And I almost want to say you're not ready emotionally. Because when someone really loves you and you're not ready to receive it, what happens? You end up hurting them unintentionally. So you might be the one to back away because you're going to say to yourself, this is either too good to be true. Or I don't deserve this which is one and the same, if you think it's too good to be true, you deep down have a belief system that you do not deserve that, which is coming for you, regardless. And so, a lot of times we repeat the pattern of disappointment, sabotage, right? I don't think I deserve this, so I'm going to destroy it before it tries to hurt me. So correct the course of that viewpoint and you shall go further. Five of Cups, Six of Swords. I'm, my biggest fear is that you walk away from this person out of fear. Simply that. And also because I feel like deep down like an opportunity will strike itself in career. So it is coming. This is confirmation. But you're going to want to focus on that because um, that pays the bill and a partner doesn't. Let's be honest. Sometimes a partner will take your money, right? Don't worry, this one won't. But what I'm trying to say is that fear will eat you up and say, I should I pick my career and go for it or should I pick this lover? And you might be shying away from the lover because you want to really focus hard on your new career. Is this a new career? Yes, I'm going to say yes because you're having a new life, but I feel like you choosing the new career will lead you to your new life. And that's how you'll attract your new lover. Hell, you might even meet them at the job. You never know. But, um, uh, I don't think it's a, a move, like a relocation. I don't think you have to, they're going to be in your town, your city, vicinity, wherever you are residing at the moment. You don't have to move to another city or country. For this to unfold, you just have to move, make moves with your line of work, make money moves, you know, put your money elsewhere where you usually don't put it, okay? Stop putting it always in the same thing, all one eggs in one basket, you know? Because it's not enough nowadays to just work and have a good paying job. Psh, that's not enough. You have to know where to put your money. A lot of people can't do both. They're too tired after work. They come home. They want to watch TV. They kick their feet on the couch. They, they don't want to think about where to invent. Like, what? You kidding me? There needs to be a stop. 
stepping it up if you want more. Hands down. Taurus coming through again. Ten of Cups. This was the good sign. Finally, I'm getting to my point here. The good sign that, yes, um, this is a very, I, I feel like I'm like a very family oriented, but like they already have children. I'm going to be honest. Like this is what this feels like to me in the spirit realm. Like they already have kids of their own. You have to put aside that you would be looking at for other person's children, right? There's that hard feeling like, ugh, this is someone else's offspring. Like, why should I be there for them? You gotta put that ego as, that's ego. I'm sorry to say it. That's ego right there. Because you loving the person, not, that sounds wrong. Not the children. Oh my God, I was gonna say not the children. Well, you should love the children too. If you love the person, you should love the children too. But if you don't like children, that's another story. But I don't know, you're just gonna fall for this person and they're just gonna be there. Like, it's just gonna be like magic, just poof, out of nowhere. One day they show up, they reach out to you. And one thing leads to another, and yada yada bing bada boom bada <laughs> You might even have a third child together, you know what I'm saying, or a second child. Okay, so I see, th I saw third because I thought at first, like, maybe they have one or two kids, maybe three. Could be three children, then you guys have a fourth. Oh my god, that'd be a handful, wouldn't it? But I see four here, so it's like, you know, it kind of confirms it. Lord have mercy. I see a lot of threes and fours. I don't know, so anyway. things coming through here, right? <laughs> Minus for people who don't like children. Oh my god. How could you not like it? I mean, they're just so, like, young and pure and, I don't know, happy. Like, they, they just bring this happy energy. Anyway, so, um, I always say to people who don't like children and don't want any, the people who do want them and do like them, would do anything to have them. So, like, try to be in their shoes for a minute and be like, you know, so, and some of them even wish they didn't like them because they want them so bad, you know? I had this one friend long ago that was obsessed with having a child and she was of age and she could not conceive children anymore and she never did, you know, unfortunately. And, um, the obsession, I think, prevented her. I think stopped her. Spiritually, in the spirit, I'm speaking, you know. I didn't know this at the time, but looking back, I'm like, you know, it, it's like when we focus so hard on wanting something rather than letting go. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. It's the people who don't want them who always end up having them. Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy, right? Like, my mom's perfect. It's like, she did not even expect to have me. Like, I was an oops baby. Like, total accident. Total, like, I don't want to say mistake, but, you know. And then that, there's that. And on top of that, they thought it would have been a girl. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, I am if I put on a wig and some makeup. No, I'm playing. But um, it's the ones who don't want it who end up having it. You know why? Because they manifest easier. <laughs> they let go. They don't even. They don't even want it. <laughs> Life is one big freaking joke. It really is. It's it's so sad. How much of a joke life is like how much a sense of humor god has it's crazy so you know what if you want children don't want them let it go just pretend like you don't want them <laughs> then you're gonna get everything you want exactly so iron yeah i feel like um i forgot to mention more about the iron i'm sorry but uh, jumping ahead of myself <sighs> release the fear in your heart but also Release ego. Release that we all have. We all need to work on that every day. It's a practice, okay? It doesn't just go away. It never will. Um, it's part of our identity, but you are going to manifest what you are wanting. It will come slow, then it will come fast at once, and you have to be ready. You already have to be ready for it to happen any day. I don't see next month, but I'm any day. Like, it's just, you have to be ready for this to happen. If you're not ready for the love to receive, if you're not ready for this job change, life cannot give you what you're not ready for. If you're not ready for great,
Christmas and you don't show up, you're not going to get your gifts. It's that simple. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little longer. Do a few more cards because she loves oh, my dog is snoring. She gave me permission to post. So yes, you will achieve your goals, but it might take, I'm talking maybe 20, 25, 6. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take some time. So that makes sense. It's it's actually going to be reasonable. Okay? It's it's not going to be too, too far. I'm not saying like... Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> End of 2026, 2027. Like, I'm not saying that. Um, why do I say children? <laughs> children! That's a good sign of a relationship, okay? Page of... Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's children, there's a lover. I'm telling you, that's a sign. Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Um, I honestly feel in the spirit that your partner will take care of a lot of needs. You won't really have to work, work, but you're still gonna work, work, you know? And you should, okay? You should. You have every right to. I don't agree with like, oh, I'm just gonna let my partner take care of my needs and be the house person. No, like, we gotta step it up, step our game up nowadays, like I said. And be good for ourselves. We gotta be good ourselves, have our own life before that partner can come through. If we don't got it like that, if we don't have friends of our own, if we don't have money coming through, if we don't have our own place that we turn the key in the doorknob to. I'm not saying we're screwed, but we're screwed because then we're relying heavily putting pressure on our partner to meet our needs where we should meet our own needs first. We gotta get out of that caveman, cavewoman survival instinct mode where the cavewoman expects the caveman to do everything and then the cavewoman just stays in the cave taking care of the, the fire and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um... step plan 
and they went for it because no one took that opportunity and they did and it worked because they have the money so I think there could, there's something with like cities there's gonna be a lot of like focus around cities city life city living like uh, maybe even like dormitory housing or like just a lot of people living a lot of people in a smaller space or environment kind of like um it's the only area where it's clean or safe or to breathe the air and it feels like a very like different but um it, it's almost like the energy is better i don't know maybe that that's more about like energy like i'm not talking about energy like oh the vibes are good no i'm talking about like electricity like it's better or it gets better or it's uh, it's um it flows more and it's almost like the lighting is different or they change the way the lights work i don't know how that works you know we went from candles to fluorescent and now we're going to led and now after that you know who knows what else so um um that this is what i see like there's only going to be certain areas where there's livable life and the others will be kind of more arid but we're still able to commute between areas it's just kind of going to be like how people make money you have no choice but to go from city to city um i don't know if i necessarily there will still be towns and stuff but like they're not going to be preferred because of the weather and they saw this coming and they took advantage because it made a profit and also, you know, it was the easier thing to do. So this is where I say they're not like, no one's really a villain, only if we make them a villain in our life. If you make someone a villain in your life, you just gave them your power away. They're just another human living, breathing, walking. It's just... This is all they know is money. This is all they're familiar with in industry, money and industry. And so if you were in their shoes working that industry, having that money, having what's on their heart, fulfilling their desire to fulfill what they feel like they need to do, you would have done the same. They can't see from other people that have less than them from their point of view. Does that make sense? So they don't see how they're impacting or influencing or hurting others. But because we feel so small, because we have way less than them, way less resources, right? And if you think, if you have $10 million and you think, no, th this guy has like probably hundredfold at least, okay? Do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see what I'm getting at? So I think things will change to realize like this will make people realize to stop giving their power away to someone who has more. So this might relate in your personal life to say, hey, if I my boss at work always is very demanding, why am I always pressured by them? Why am I always coming to work miserable every day? Only coming here to make money and that's it. Walk away. Not even talking to my coworkers, not even having lunch with them. Why did I just hand myself over to that industry when I could just walk away? When are we going to stop feeding the ones causing the issue? And when are we going to finally see the bigger picture here? Why people are the way they are? And what causes it? It's just feeding the beast. It's just feeding that same energy. So this is not saying it's going to happen for sure. This is gonna saying what we're heading down to. If things don't change, if we stop reporting to a job we hate, only for the money, what feels better for you in your heart? Why don't you repeat what they did and follow what's in their heart? Maybe they didn't have a hug growing up. They didn't have love growing up and they associated money with love. Power with love. I hope this makes sense. So again, just totally different subject. Went off the rails a bit, but this is what this is telling me. What are your future children gonna grow up 
in the world as. What is that going to look like? What do you want? Because again, the parents are in control at the end of the day. What do you want the world for them to look like? They don't know. The kids don't have a clue. The kids of today, they don't have a clue. You have to be the guiding light, the lighthouse in the darkness to give a clue. To set a precedent and an example of what a better world would look like. This energy is trying to control the changes. Why don't you instead flow with the changes? Flow with what feels right in your heart. It's soon, but we still have time. Believe it or not, we still have time. So, take what you will of this message just today. I felt like I had to do that because, again, there's a reason we're doing this reading public today. After six months, I haven't done a, a public tarot reading. So, first, like, you know, custom reading and then for people at the same time. So, anyway, that was interesting. Thank you so much. God bless, love, and light. Agony and others. See you soon.